Well, hello there. Come on in. I'm Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. I was just going over your chimney inspection report, but now that you're here, make yourself comfortable. Let's go over it together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey, great looking house. Uh, nice, nice location, by the way. Nice neighborhood. Uh, as we look at the top of the chimney, we can see that uh, it's got a concrete slab up here uh, keeping the birds, uh, not the birds, excuse me, the rain from going down the three flues. Remember in this, uh, in this uh, setting here, you've got the uh, fireplace, you've got a furnace flue, and then you've got the other fireplace. So you have two fireplace flues, complete uh, they have their own complete systems, including the furnace flue, which is unused, but it has its own complete uh, system as well. Let's scroll up. Let's start looking in the living room uh, fireplace. We're looking at the uh, base of the flue or flue system. We're looking here exactly into the smoke chamber, and you can see how rough it is. The original mason made no effort to fill any of these uh, empty uh, voids with refractory cement, which was code required even when this house was built. The idea is, is the uh, fireplaces are the center of the house, so any gases that, or smoke that might leak into these areas would go into the walls of the house. Now, whether that would uh, manifest itself into your living space or not is a good question, but uh, at any rate, this fireplace has never been used, so there's no way of really knowing if that's been a uh, problem in the past. I've given you a price on fixing that, and I, I recommend that you... All right, so, um, so basically it's important that the, uh, that the smoke chamber uh, be sealed up so that the gases don't get into the walls. And how we do that is we spray a refractory cement up there uh, with this uh, heat shield machine and basically we're spraying it in there, sealing up all the holes and cracks in the chimney or in the chimney smoke chamber and I've given you a price on doing that. So let's get back to your report. You do. Um, this is a picture of the flu system itself. Let's see, that's Din. Let's stick with the living room for a few minutes. So, still uh, sticking with the living room fireplace. Both fireplaces, by the way, have gas log starters. Both the gas log starters are working. This one, when it was installed, the, uh, the uh, plumber, and that's who installs these, took a great big old chip out of the brick. Well, these bricks are laid uh, horizontally, so they're pretty thick right there, but uh, there's some more repairs that need to be done in this firebox area. There's a missing mortar up here in the profile, and so while that's there, we might as well go ahead and fix that brick, and I've given you a price on doing that as well. Din fireplace, uh, also wood burner, also gas log starters working, dampers working, no problems there. Both of them use keys to operate the uh, gas log starters. That's for your protection. When you're not using the fireplace, take the keys and hide them someplace. Because if somebody, a uh, child or somebody was to turn those keys, or even an adult, uh, they would fill your house up with raw gas. There's no uh, pilot associated with gas log starters. You crumple up a little newspaper, you stick it under the wood, then you turn the gas on, right? Do you lift the paper, turn the gas on, then you're, you're successful. It should sweep out this chimney, might just as well uh, before the, uh, uh, the next use. So let's see what other pictures we've got for you here. Uh, flu system, din flu system. Missing a one foot flu section at the top, but you know what? Mason apparently, and we're talking about the original Mason, remember that this is all stuff that was done when this house was built. It's been inspected by the, the uh, municipal inspector, the county inspector. It's been inspected by other general inspectors. 
I guess no one has ever decided that this is a problem, and your humble chimney sweep doesn't think it's a problem either. Generally speaking, we like to see the chimneys lined from top to bottom. But this little one-foot section that's missing here, uh, it's pretty well sealed up in here. I would certainly give you a pass on that. You folks have uh, any questions for me at all, give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesuite.com. Thanks.